So again, when we talk about vertical justification, we're going to hit the Control B key to bring up the text frame options. And let's focus on this vertical justification just a little bit more so you're familiar with it. We covered it a little bit in our last movie. Now what this does, if I have the text frame selected, this is basically going to uh, give a justification for how our text flows vertically throughout each of these columns within this text frame. So here by default we have a line top then if we set it to a line center then it's going to set that accordingly or we can justify it across the bottom that's going to leave us quite a bit of space across the top we don't necessarily want that and then the next thing that we have is justify and I dove into that in the last movie but one of the things I want to hint on is if I come up switch this back up to the top then we perform our balance column technique to this and then come down and select justify then it is going to justify that text and we can see that it's even across the bottom somewhat even across the top but it's important here that we want to specify our paragraph spacing limit so this part we didn't focus on too much in the last movie but hopefully here it will make sense if I set my paragraph spacing options here, and let's just set it to one inch, what that basically does is it takes any of these paragraph and makes the space in between the paragraph a little bit more spacier so that you don't have this huge space in between each and every sentence that you have here within your text frame. So if you get to the point where you are using justification or trying to balance this out and when you get to that justify option you don't necessarily like that spacing in between then the paragraph spacing is a good way to kind of limit that eyesore that you get when you're justifying your text frame.